Hi everyone, in this video, we'll talk about fatty acid anabolism versus catabolism and how it is regulated by hormonal inputs. So, fatty acid metabolism is dependent upon the metabolic state, whether you are fed or you are fasted. Generally, fatty acid anabolism takes place in a fed state, whereas catabolism takes place in the fasted state and the choice between fatty acid anabolism or catabolism is regulated via several hormones such as insulin or glucagon so in this video we'll talk about how these hormonal inputs actually controls the decision between between fatty acid anabolism and catabolism so let us look at in the cytoplasm which is the site for fatty acid anabolism and we would try to compare these two situations with high blood glucose condition and low blood glucose condition high blood glucose condition is indicative of a fed state whereas low blood glucose condition means a fasted state so let us look at what happens in high blood glucose condition we know acetyl coa carboxylase is the rate limiting enzyme for fatty acid biosynthesis which converts acetyl coa into malonyl coa now this malonyl coa would be utilized to generate fatty acids or help in the fatty acid biosynthesis pathway but the key enzyme acetyl coa carboxylase exists in two forms a phosphorylated form which is a deactivated form and a dephosphorylated form which is generally an active form now these two states can be interconverted with the help of several enzymes. For example, it can be activated or dephosphorylated with the help of phosphate, phosphatase enzymes and it can be phosphorylated with the help of kinase enzymes. So in a bird's eye view, all the hormones would eventually modulate these kind of phosphatase or kinase enzyme in order to regulate these enzymes. Now, when we have too much of glucose, this glucose would undergo glycolysis and also this glucose would trigger secretion of insulin from the pancreatic beta cell. Now, this insulin would work on its target tissue and it would activate the phosphatase enzyme. And we can clearly understand when insulin activates the phosphatase enzyme, the acetyl-CoA carboxylase would be activated or it would be dephosphorylated and thereby malonyl coa would be generated and fatty acid biosynthesis would be favored in short when we are in fed situation or when we have high blood glucose level then fatty acid biosynthesis is favored and it is proper to say that glucose can generate a lot of fat if you utilize the glucose then it won't be utilized to generate fat but if you have un utilized glucose then it would be used to generate fatty acids and that is why sugar makes us fat now let us understand what happens in the low blood glucose level condition or in the fasted state so in the fasted state we don't have input of food so glucose level would be super low insulin level would be low but at this situation glucagon level would be high glucagon binds to glucagon receptors in the target tissue and ultimately lead to protein kinase A formation. Now protein kinase A activation leads to phosphorylation of acetyl-CoA carboxylase into a deactivated state. So ultimately acetyl-CoA carboxylase under fasted condition gets converted into a phosphorylated deactivated state. As a result the conversion of acetyl-CoA to malonyl-CoA does not take place. Right? So, this acetyl-CoA now cannot generate fatty acids. Instead, it would be utilized to generate other products such as ketone bodies. Now, we need to understand the fasted state in a bit more details. So, let's take an analogy. If we have a hell lot of money in our wallet, we can, we can use this money to buy drinks or shopping or let's say movies but if we don't have money in our wallet then we cannot do these kind of expenses 
we have to think of savings right it is same for the body when body is deprived of metabolic inputs or deprived of sugar or food input then whatever is existing in the body it would try to utilize that to generate energy so one of that substrate is triglyceride present in the adipose tissue under starvation that would release the fatty acids and the fatty acids would be utilized in the liver right so how it is utilized so inside the liver, let us zoom into the mitochondrial membrane in the matrix. So in the mitochondrial membrane, you can see there are transporter systems which are known as carnitine palmitate oil transferase. And these transporter systems exist because fatty acid cannot directly cross the inter -mito inner mitochondrial membrane because it is impermeable. So with the help of carnitine transporter, fatty, uh, fatty acyl carnitines are transported inside the mitochondrial matrix now inside the mitochondrial matrix palmitoyl coa or any kind of fatty acyl coa eventually gets converted to acetyl coa so fatty acid breaks down breakdown take place in the mitochondrial matrix and this is under fasted state because in fasted state carnitine palmitoyl transferase is active now then question comes what happens in the fed state in fed state, in short statement, carnitine palmitate oil transferase is deactivated. And I'll tell you how. But imagine if carnitine palmitate oil transferase, which is the key transporter taking acyl carnitines inside the mitochondrial membrane is deactivated, then there is no chance of fatty acid breakdown, right? And indeed, in case of fed state, we have a hell lot of energy, right? And we don't need more fatty acid breakdown to generate further energy. So fatty acid breakdown process would be halted, whereas anabolism would be favored. Indeed, malonyl CoA, which is the first uh, raw, pro, uh, raw material for fatty acid biosynthesis, blocks the carnitine palmitate oil transferase. Now we know this conversion of malonyl CoA from the acetyl CoA is catalyzed by ACC, right, which is in turn augmented by insulin. So under the fed state, insulin ensures by indirectly blocking the carnitine palmitate oil transferase that the fatty acyl breakdown does not take place. So that's the role of insulin in the fed state. Via malonyl CoA, it prevents carnitine palmitate oil transferase and thereby fatty acid biosynthesis is favored whereas the breakdown is halted. So in this video, we pretty much looked at how hormones such as insulin, glucagon and also metabolic state can modulate the decision of fatty acid breakdown versus fatty acid biosynthesis. Now obviously under fasted condition, adipose tissue would take the fatty acid, it would generate acetyl CoA, right? Now this acetyl CoA which is a product of fatty acid oxidation would ultimately can move into a TCA cycle or it can also generate the ketone bodies right in the liver it can generate ketone bodies. These ketone bodies are very important because ketone bodies give brain the fuel in a fasted situation. So if you want to learn more about ketone body biogenesis or how ketone body is utilized, the link is provided in the i button. You can click on the i button to get the link. But for now, if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to write in the comment that how do you like my videos and if you have any suggestion, do write in the comment. Thank you guys.